All right, guys, this is something I've been wanting to do. Um, sure, any of you watching this video or, you know, you're on my channel checking for new stuff or whatever, are probably familiar with uh, shotguns and uh, things like wax slugs. So, anyway, what I wanted to do was just go through and uh, dissect one and uh you know let everyone see what the kind of result i got from uh using crayons and uh my my specific uh recipe i guess would be the words uh i did try uh a couple different ways during the development of my technique and um originally i the videos I watched, it just seemed like they were putting in so much uh, wax and not enough shot. But whenever you're actually mixing or filling the shot shell, it's important that you do have enough wax in there to uh, displace all of the uh, the air. You don't want any voids or or whatever i don't think that it would be detrimental to your your weapon because you know the wad or the cup that the shell the shot goes in um will you know keep you from uh, you know keep it from breaking apart inside the barrel um and if it does it will contain it you know once it once it exits the uh, muzzle you know, that's another story. The, the wad separates. And uh, I'm assuming it still s separates um, from a wax slug. It's uh, it's not like it's glued on. It's, it is adhered. And, and we'll see that when we get into the process of taking this thing apart. Unfortunately, my good camera battery just died. And uh, so I'm using my cell phone. I apologize for the shakiness, audio quality, and everything else. But uh, this is what we got to work with today, folks. So during the uh, actual times that I'll be cutting the shell open, uh, I won't be able to film because I don't have a mount for this. I don't have any way to stabilize it. So you'll have to forgive me for that. Once again, a completely actionless video. We'll get into some action soon. Channel's young, and so are we. All right, so here we go. We got the, uh, the cup with the wax and the uh, number seven steel shot uh, in the uh, in the, the large portion and then you can see here we've got the uh, power piston covering up the the charge uh, and again you know, this is just uh, Winchester super target loads so you know they're not high brass they're not really powerful rounds so recoil on the slug should be you know the same or less than shooting this as a uh a one and an eighth ounce uh payload of uh birdshot so let's see if we can do some fancy finger work here probably not i don't think there's any way i will be able to push this thing out Unless I get smart or something like that, that would be that would be impressive if I was able to do something like that. Let's see how I could do that. How could I ever be smart? Maybe if I had something like this. Oh, this is very good. Thing. I hope I don't. I'm hoping that I don't. Oh, see, it's coming out pretty easy. There you go. That's all you really need. And this is what I wanted to see, was how much wax fills this cup. And it looks, it looks pretty, pretty solid. On the outside of it. Doesn't appear to be a 
There's some right here. You know, it doesn't feel waxy. It feels just plastic. It doesn't look like the uh, the wax leaked out and uh, got into the around the cup here. There's obviously none on the power piston, and none leaked through. None got by. So that part of it looks good. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because you know I, uh, there was a video. I don't, I don't know if I'll link it or not, um, but some guy blew his shotgun up when he was shooting wax lugs, and based on his story of how he said he had shot hundreds, you know, or a hundred wax lugs, and was walking back to his truck to get some more, and sounds like he got careless, and he left a uh, left one of the slugs chambered in his... Um, his his weapon while he was walking away and with the muzzle pointed down you know in a safe direction which you know at least he was doing that but um the result was he um he he thinks that one of the uh shells one of the you know one of the slugs slipped out like that this portion slipped into his barrel and then when he fired he thinks the power piston was propelled into the shell and you know subsequently blew his shotgun up I think that more than likely and I don't know, this is just a theory, but I think that, you know, that's feasible. Um, if you search it up or if I link it, then you can watch it and review and get your own idea. But uh, the the way that the shotgun blew up, uh, I don't know, it was, it was a really weird, really weird situation. Sorry for him and his shotgun. Uh, that sucks. But anyway, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't fired any of these. That's why I'm doing this because I wanted to, uh, I want to be completely sure that I'm safe. And, uh, you know, if I can help anybody else stay safe, you know, and learn something while they're at it. And maybe, you know, improve the uh, community of uh, wax slug growers. So, anyway, the, the point of this is so that we can all get an idea on how safe these things really are. And I'll take this one apart next. So, we'll be back in a second, folks. And we're back. The magic of movie making. The uh, the difference between these two uh, projectiles is significant, considering this was a one ounce payload, and this one is a one and an eighth ounce payload so go figure um the difference is significant but anyway who cares so you can see here the uh power piston in this one is a different shape longer but again none of the wax got down past it the husk here is really clean and again I'm using crayon so I don't know if there's any difference between uh, using crayons or if you use paraffin from candles or whatever but uh, yeah, so far everything in here is looking great now uh, let's take one apart or actually let's get get them both out of this uh, out of their little wads here and see I see that one doesn't look very good but we'll see when we take it apart just how solid it really is all right and that was fast wasn't it 
anyway uh, I noticed here inside this husk there is some leakage where one of the uh, I guess the flaps were not very tight and it could be that I had taken this uh, this wad out um, while while uh, you know preparing the shell and all that so anyway here we go there are the two respective slugs see this little piece here came off when I was removing it it came out pretty easily just fill the uh, Peel the leaves back on that, and the uh, shell, being that it's covered in wax, uh, slid out relatively easy. Now this one, just based on the scale, it was even easier to uh, take apart. But I mean, these things are pretty solid. They are, uh, they're not just falling apart, you know? I mean, you can, of course, it, It'll be going about twice that fast if you fire it out of a shotgun. But I mean, that, that is the point. Whenever it hits something, that's when it is supposed to break up. That's what you want it to do. Uh, Tau Fledermouse has a, a video on the theory behind the reverse granular impact and why these things are so effective. Um, so that's interesting to watch there too. And that guy's pretty cool. He's got a lot of a lot of interesting things on his channel. Not just a he's not a one trick pony, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, back to the uh, back to the story, the meat of the thing. The crux of the situation. These things this one's pretty solid. I would say it's a uh, a mass these these things, you know, the pellets are are in there. They're, you know, you can see them. Obviously, you can see them a lot better than this one. But, uh, I'm, these, you know, I'm not able to just pick these out. It's not like they're just loosely in there. They're, they are adhered to the, uh, each other pretty well. This one, I mean, you can just see it. It's a solid, solid little brick. I'm thinking that would probably cause some sort of carnage if you hit anything with it. So, all right. Well, after all the uh, to-do here with the cutting and speculating and nonsensical BS that I was spewing, I'm going to give these guys the big old thumb up to shoot. Now, again... One thing that should be stated is, you know, you have to do this at your own risk if you're going to do it. I can't stop you. What I wanted to do here was provide a little educational experience on the anatomy of one. You know, take, take one apart or two apart and see what sort of risk factors uh, are involved with shooting these. And, you know, since they're in that cup and uh, there's a power piston behind the cup the uh the charge is protected you're not going to uh damage that um i don't think even if you had enough wax come through to stick the power piston to the cup i don't see that as being an issue because the cup's going to separate from the power piston as soon as uh it's you know as soon as it leaves the uh the muzzle and if it doesn't it's still going to you know separate from the actual slug whenever the the power piston or when the wad separates so you know i i i don't see any issues there with with blockage um with these, I think the main thing you need to do is just be smart about it and load one shell and fire it. And then laugh about what you hit. 
Then load another shell, fire it. I'm never going to stack these in my magazine tube. I've seen it done, but uh, I don't have a need to. You know, if I'm using these guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna milk them. I got two boxes, about 25 or 50 of these made up, and I'm not just gonna go out and blast, 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 blast. I'm gonna find things or set things up to shoot and watch them explode. See what kind of damage these things do firsthand. And uh, so in doing that, it's going to be a one-shot deal. Um, me personally now, I'm content. I think uh, I think these are safe to shoot out of my guns. You have to make that decision yourself. Um, but whatever you do, be safe, have fun, and uh, have a nice day. I guess I need to come up with something other than that because I think have a nice day is already taken. But at least I didn't say, yeah, have a nice day. So, anyway, you guys, take it easy.